Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Endless Seas. I'm here at the mob dropper, what you call it? Thing? Still? Um, just farming up random mob parts and stuff, but I thought, here in the middle of it, I've got five ender pearls so far. But uh, I wanted to throw together a quick little uh, interlude, or I don't know, what's the word I'm thinking of? Supplement? episode and give myself a little bit of a distraction to show you guys a mod that's in this pack that I have not uh, mentioned, talked about, looked at, or used in the entire series of the pack so far. So, let's go over here. I need to go get some, for some more food anyway. While I'm back over here, let's go raid the fridge. What do we have in here? Uh, cooked chicken? Why not? That's good enough for now. Alright, so the mod that I am talking about is the water strainer mod. Uh, here are the items from it, right in here, in this section, all the way to there. So this mod, basically, you build this little box thing that's a strainer, and uh, you put a net on top of it, and the net catches items floating around in the water, and puts them in the box for you. A very, very simple explanation, but it gets a little bit more complicated, but nothing too, nothing too crazy. Just a little more complicated. So here's the strainer base. This is what you need to build to get started. Uh, you need iron bars, a hopper, any kind of planks, a chest, and that's your strainer base. And you place that in the water. I've got mine right here. Uh, it's sitting right here, actually. And it has these little bars coming off the top. Let me... There. There we go. Reset it. Uh, it's got these little bars coming off the top here. And you want that to be in the water as well, I believe. Because that's where your net's going to go that ca actually catches the stuff. And it all goes in this box in the bottom. Oh, i got a whole lot of stuff in there. Uh, let's take some of this out, and it might catch some more stuff while I'm talking. We'll just combine that junk together, and put these away in there. Alright. Uh, so after you build this and throw it in the water, you also need uh, one of these strainers or a net of some kind. Now these are all basically the exact same, but there's three different kinds of strainers that you can put in this. The strainers, well actually four different ones, but anyway, uh, the three main ones are these regular strainers. They catch sand, dirt, sticks, gravel, clay, stone, planks of random kinds, and gold nuggets. It has all the percentage chances of you catching these items out of the water. And it has a limited number of uses. So it'll catch, this one here will catch 120 items. Uh, the next one up will catch 720 items. Next one above that, 5,760 items. And if you look, they have the exact same percentage chance of catching those items. Just a higher number of uses. And here's the recipes for those. String and sticks for the base one. Second one is iron bars and iron ingots. Third one, obsidian and diamonds. And actually, this item looks different than that item. That's odd. Huh. Alright, anyway. Uh, the next type of strainer are the tight modified strainers. These catch uh, the... I guess the smaller, like, particulate type items at a higher percentage chance, but they do not catch the like larger bits. They filter out the small pieces. So you can catch sand, dirt, gravel, and gold nuggets in these at a higher chance than regular, but it doesn't catch everything, only half the items. And they have the same number of uses. They just require, you know, like two extra of whatever the the uh, fill item is for the actual mesh. Uh, and then you have the wide variety. These catch larger items. 
like stick, stone, clay, and planks, but not gold, not sand, not gravel, and that is just the uh, the frame item, the frame type item with like one in the middle, one of the fill mesh item in the middle. So iron and iron ingots there, and one obsidian with the four diamonds there. Uh, but I'm not using any of those. I'm actually going to be using this fisherman's drainer. This is a net with sugar canes, and the net is just string. And this recipe here is used by two different items. Uh, this net as well as, I think, gauze. But whenever you craft it, in the crafting table, you can just click this little arrow right here. It'll have a 2 next to it, which means there are two recipes for that. Are there two items for that recipe whenever you craft it? You just click that arrow right there, it'll switch back and forth between the two possible uh, outputs here. So you just grab the net and make your fisherman strainer. So this has a 50% chance of catching a very large variety of fish, 15% uh, chance for leather gear, uh, sticks, strings, bowls, and bones and vines and lily pads. I might have said that one twice and a 1% chance of catching enchanted books. So really this thing is like a fishing rod and it does not break. It is infinite use, you never have to replace it. Downside though, since you're catching fish you actually need to put bait in there. Uh, the bait for this mod is worms. And you get these worms by digging up dirt with a uh, garden trowel which is right here. There's the recipe for the garden trowel. It's dirt, coarse dirt, or podzol, iron ingot, and any kind of stick. Makes your garden trowel. It does have limited uses. It breaks over time as you use it, but it's got a fair number of uses. It's about the same as an iron shovel, I believe. Uh, but those you can dig up these worms with, and you can just drop those right in this little slot right here where the bait slot is. Uh, I'm going to put this strainer back in there. And it says right there, hey, you have to have bait. Well, you can drop the worms in there one at a time and wait till it gets used and then put another one in there. Or, very much better option, you build this bait pot right here. It's a flower pot with some iron bars on it. And whenever you build the strainer base here, you are going to have iron bars left over because they craft in batches of 16 and you only need a couple to build this. So, hey, why not use one more of them to build this bait pot? So this thing, you fill with the worms, you just put them in your inventory. Uh, you can do this in your actual little crafting thing here and add them a couple at a time. I've got 23 in here right now. Let's see if I can get like one or two more to demonstrate this with. It's just... Yeah, there we go. There's one. So you can put it like that and it adds it. See that says 24 now instead of 23. Uh, you can put three of them in there, and it'll go up, you know, plus three. It's as many as you can fit in your crafting window. It'll add to the bait pot. Um, if you want to do more than three at a time, you can put it, like, in your crafting window, fill this entire square here, do them eight at a time, but you have to put the bait pot back over here each time. You can't just shift-click over here and do all of them, because this counts as a different item each time you cycle it through. But anyway, uh, we're going to throw the bait in there and that will just sit there and catch items. And the bait pot, also, 50% uh, chance to not consume bait after catching a fish. So whenever it catches a fish, there's a 50-50 shot that a bait, one of the worms, will not get used up out of that. So you can get a very, very large number of fish out of this, a large number of catches. Uh, I've got one enchanted book out of this so far, uh, quite a few pieces of leather gear, and obviously like tons of fish different varieties. I'm going to clear this out because there's one more thing I want to demonstrate with this now that it's nighttime. Since we have the tick rate uh, continuation thing at night, the simulated time passage, when you sleep at night uh, it actually will catch fish while you sleep. So we're going to just uh, let the clock trip out for a second here while it calculates all the stuff going on at night. Crops growing Fish, fish being caught. Uh, the smeltery is not doing anything right now. So anyway, so the next morning we come over here and we check on this. 
And lo and behold, we're down to 15 bait, but it did catch a whole bunch of stuff for us at night. But yeah, no ender pearls. <laughs> that was the thing I was uh, seeing if it would catch. I went through these and looked at them. They do catch a nice little variety of stuff, but nothing I'm really interested in. Except the fish, because uh, a variety of food and enchanted books. So, yeah. There's that. Free enchanted books. There it is. Uh, Knockback 2 Power 3. That's the book that I got. Uh, let's combine these just to save space. May as well. Um, I don't want to put those together. That's kind of a waste. And why not? I'm not using the leather gear anyway. There. Save a spot. Uh, I think that was it for the gear. Let's drop the fish in here. Just miscellaneous food items I'll sort later. I think the fridge is just about full, actually. Uh, rewind the video. I looked at it earlier. It's probably, like, decently full. Ah, the bowls go over here. Let's put this dirt away. Anyway, I uh, just wanted a little aside to take a quick break from the mob dropper. Where was I putting bowls? Are they in this side? Yeah. I'm gonna do like this. So when you open the cabinet, it looks like there's a whole bunch of them back there. Let's actually space these out. Might look a little better. Actually, that one's in the right spot. There. Yeah, that looks better. Kind of spaced out in there. Uh, anyway, yeah, I wanted a quick distraction just to do something else for a minute. Had to come over here and grab some food anyway. Yeah, fridge is, like, completely full. Uh, let's grab some of these things that I've got. A bunch of... Yeah, I just ate up a whole bunch of those. A pineapple. Anybody want a peanut? Alright, that's fine. Uh, let's see, what else was I going to mention? Oh yeah, hey Harley, uh, I will be streaming sometime soon-ish. I don't know exactly when, but uh, I will give you and whoever else is interested a heads up. Whenever I'm going to stream, but my work schedule's a little bit hectic. Not really hectic, but like unpredictable at the moment. Which is one of the reasons that I stopped doing videos for a little while. But uh, whenever that gets more predictable and under control, or if I get uh, a bit of... Uh, actually, I already caught a bunch of stuff. Uh, when I get a, a bit more time free that I know I'm going to have some time free, like for a day... I will uh, let everybody know, so whoever's interested can go drop by on Twitch. Uh, anybody interested, the Twitch link to my channel is below the video here, uh, along with the link to my Discord channel that I haven't been in in quite a while. <laughs> Sorry about that also, but yeah, I've been busy. Um, and my Twitter that I also haven't used in a little while for uh, probably the exact same reason. Not really a whole lot going on as far as things that you guys would be interested in. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Just a real quick distraction for myself and to give you guys some information if you're interested in the fishing passively random types of fish without having to actually use a fishing rod. I should put that shovel away somewhere. There. That's my armor I'm going to use whenever we get back to the end. Anyway, uh, so yeah, thanks for coming by, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys then. Have a good day.